One of my favorite cameras ever are GoPros because you can place them on top of things like this and they can even withstand a drop like this. That was one big drop. But they're also one of my least favorite cameras because of the mess that you deal with when you bring them back into the computer to edit. They're hard to edit. They break files into new chapters every four gigabytes. The file names overlap and you can't sync them up by timecode. And GoPros also come out with a new model pretty much every year. So it makes you feel like you need to get a new camera just to get the latest features. Well, something I just learned about that's not, it's way too good not to share. It's a little beta hack and it's super legit and it gives a lot of new functionality to help you both on set and in post-production is called GoPro Labs. So today let's take a look at upgrading your GoPro Hero firmware with GoPro Labs. GoPro Labs is kind of like this underground tool set of features that isn't talked about very much, but it unlocks all the potential your GoPro Hero camera has to offer. If you've been around Canon DSLRs for very long, you might remember Magic Lantern. In fact, the very first video I posted on this channel was how to install Magic Lantern. Anyways, GoPro Labs is like Magic Lantern, but it's a lot easier to use because it utilizes QR codes to initiate settings, and it's supported by GoPro themselves. It doesn't take away any of the standard features, and you can always revert to the original firmware if you decide you don't want it. As an editor, some of the things GoPro Labs has helped me out with are you can alter file names as clips are created in camera. This makes sure that no clips get the same file name. Uh, you can also let clips extend to 12 gigabytes in size before they break into a new file, so there's less clips to manage. And you can jam sync timecode between multiple GoPros. That's huge. This means you don't have to rely on audio or a slate to align your GoPro clips to do multicam or sync bin editing. Speaking of sync bin, if you haven't checked out these speed editors, they're sick. Anyways, as someone who films and operates the camera, some of my favorite features um, are the ability, you can actually program the camera to turn on and off at specific times, which is perfect for during those hours you might want to be sleeping, like during a sunrise or sunset. Or the camera is in a location that you can't get to and reach easily, maybe it's up real high. Um, it can also activate based off of motion or speed, like think like dash cam here. Anyways, there's so much more. So let me just show you how to install it and get started. Go to the website in the description for GoPro Labs. Click get started. Find your specific camera model. It currently works on the Hero 9 Black, the Max, the Hero 8 Black, that's what I've got right here, Hero 7 Black, and Hero 5 Session. Download and unzip the file. Insert your micro SD card into your computer and drop the update folder, the one you unzipped, not the actual zip file, onto the root directory of the micro SD card. Eject it, make sure your camera's charged up, and plug it into your GoPro. Turn on the camera, and it'll take about a minute or less to install. When it says update complete, you're now ready to use it with QR codes, which I'll show you next. You've got a couple of options to load these newly unlocked settings onto your camera. The first and simplest is just to go to the website that you downloaded your firmware from and click create your code. The link's in the description and this is a good site to bookmark on your smartphone so that you can change and load settings when you're out on location. <laughs> Let's scroll down and create a code for changing the file names to something unique for this camera. This makes linking files in post-production much easier when every clip has a unique name. You can of course rename this on the computer, but this just makes life easier. File renaming is just for the GoPro Hero 8 and newer, but the QR code process is the same for all settings. Choose Altered File Naming. You get a description and a warning letting you know that the GoPro app won't support these new file names, but they're still good to go once you copy them to your computer. And the same thing goes with the 12 gigabyte chapter setting, which is great, but the clips are only gonna be visible once you copy them over. You can't see them on the app or the device. So click Altered File Naming again, and that's gonna take you to the actual GitHub page with the actual QR code. That's what you're gonna be scanning. Type in your new base file name. It could be a date, or I actually like to use CVT underscore for creative video tips, and check the box to make this name change permanent. Oh, and that reminds me, we might not know each other yet. I'm Chadwick, and this channel is called Creative Video Tips. It's here to help you craft stories to make a difference and stand out. So if you're into filmmaking and nerdy video editing post-production related stuff, subscribe right down below so you don't miss out on next week's tip. We're super into DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut Pro, Sony, and Blackmagic gear on this channel, so I'm really glad that you're taking the time today to learn how to make the most out of your old GoPro camera. 
Now, all you really need to do is make sure your camera's on and point it at the QR code and bam. The other way you can generate new QR codes is with the free iPhone app called QR Control. This one's a little bit more nerdy and has very detailed settings, which you can even stack up on top of each other. I'm new to using GoPro Labs and have found the website to be the most useful because it actually explains what all the little hacks do. There's a lot of them. And rather than go into detail on each one of them today, here's a list of what you can expect GoPro Labs QR codes to unlock for your camera. Set precision date and time. Sync multiple cameras to the same settings. Owner's information when you start it up. Create delayed actions to start and stop. Motion detection, speed activation, GPS-based sunrise and sunset capture, very long time lapses, because it'll power down the camera and power it back up when it needs to, 12 gigabyte chapters, video burn and overlay, altered file naming, IMU motion trigger, USB power trigger, maximum shutter angle, exposure lock, loner mode, live streaming, and GPS time synchronization. And a quick little bonus tip I wanna give you is a lot of people ask me, do I need to keep the LRV files and all those little extra files that are on the card next to the MP4? The answer is no, you really just need the MP4 file. All the information's held right within that file. The LRV files are low resolution video files to help you play back on the device. The thumbnails are previews to, to send to your, you know, your phone or the device. So we don't need those anymore once they're copied to the computer. All you need is the MP4. I hope you found this tip helpful. And if you did, please click the like button right now. And if you didn't, click it three times. That way you can help other creatives like yourself find out and learn about GoPro Labs too. If you wanna learn more about a specific QR code or function, let me know down in the comments. And if you wanna learn more about other fun camera stuff or editing tricks, click the playlist that I've got on screen right now. And because there's so much more to learn, I'll see you in that next video.